Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about my weekly meal planning, um, my meal prep, and also my grocery haul. So um, I usually do my planning for the upcoming week on Sundays and then go to the grocery store either on Sunday evening or Monday after work. And um, the way that I plan on what I'm going to be making for the week is basically I open my refrigerator and I open my freezer and I see what do I have extra, what do I have left over, and what do I have in the freezer that I want to use or that um, I can make into a really quick meal. Um, so from there, I'll usually go and think of a couple things I would want to eat. And then I will go in and grab um, one of my cookbooks. And I usually make a whole week of meals out of one particular cookbook unless I have like some ingredients for a specific meal. So this week, I'm going to be making everything out of the America's Test Kitchen Vegan for Everyone cookbook. This is a really great cookbook. I like it a lot. Um, it's got a lot of great vegan recipes. And um, I don't think I've tried anything out of this cookbook that wasn't great. And you can see I've used it so much, um, the binding came apart and I had to have it spiral, spiral, spiral bound. So um, what I did was I pulled a few things out of my freezer. Um, and then I went into the cookbook and I've tabbed what I'm going to be making for this week. So our we menu for the week is uh, white bean chili, which I actually pulled out of the freezer last time I made it. Um, I just made a double batch and I froze half of it. So I pulled that out of the freezer and put it in the refrigerator and we're going to eat that later this week. I'm going to make lettuce wraps with a side of rice and a side of um, Chinese style eggplant. And the eggplant I also had previously cubed up and frozen, so I just took that out of the freezer as well. I'm going to make a vegan shepherd's pie with a veggie side. Um, before I went to the grocery store, I wasn't sure you know, what veggie I would get or what would look good. So I just kind of put a vegetable on my list and then just saw what looked good at the grocery store. I'm going to be making um, cauliflower rice bowls with cilantro sauce. Cilantro sauce is another one of the things I pulled out of my freezer. Um, whenever I have cilantro that looks like it's getting wilty or sad, I pull it out of the refrigerator and I process it into cilantro sauce. And that sauce goes really well on Mediterranean dishes, on um, Mexican food, um, and you can mix it in as kind of like a cilantro flavor in anything. And that sauce is really just um, cilantro, tahini, and um, miso. I think that's about it. It's really great, super tasty. I highly recommend it. So I pulled that out of the freezer. The next thing um, I'm making are Thai peanut noodle bowls. That's actually what we had for dinner tonight. Um, tofu banh mi, and finally tortilla soup. So um, I will get into where I got my groceries. So I normally just shop in my local Kroger, but every once in a while I will go to the international supermarket that's in our town. And um, I needed to get a few things for the lettuce wraps. So I will show you everything I got from my um, international grocery store. First thing I got is a bag of bean sprouts and um, these are uh, really great as a kind of crunchy side when um, having Asian food. And um, oh, I should probably mention, I do my best to try and minimize the amount of plastic I use, but you'll probably see there's lots of plastic um, in my grocery haul and it's just really hard to avoid and I'm sure anybody who's who's trying to do that knows that and feeling as well but you know we're doing our best um, my husband and I also eat a um, mostly plant-based almost entirely vegan um, uh, diet there are a few things in here that are not strictly vegan but um, we try and keep that to a minimum so oh uh, and the other thing I forgot to mention is I also put on my list kind of on my list here on the bottom, I'll put any of the things that I need to meal prep or that I can make ahead. Um, and so for this week, I can make ahead the mashed potatoes that will go in the shepherd's pie, and that'll make that go so quick. Um, and then also, I need to cook some black beans. I buy all of my beans from um, dry, and I cook them myself. And so that will go in the tortilla soup. So back to my groceries. I got some bean sprouts to go with the lettuce wraps. Um, I got four cans of coconut milk. I'm going to be making um, a cake. We're celebrating my husband's birthday on Wednesday. And so I'm going to be making a um, German chocolate cake, which is his favorite. So I got coconut milk, 
Um, I got this huge thing, a huge one gallon thing of soy sauce. Um, and I have the refrigerator space to keep this in the refrigerator in our garage. So I figured I'll just buy the big one, save myself some packaging and a little bit of money. I got um, some rice flour. Uh, I love the sweet rice flour to make mochi cake, which I will eventually get a recipe on this channel. Making mochi cake is absolutely amazing. Um, Sola Aweli um, put up a recipe for mochi cake and I figured out how to veganize it. So I will have a recipe for that at some point. I got a big thing of sriracha. My husband loves spicy food, so we go through this really fast. Um, another huge thing of tahini. Tahini is one of those things that it makes Everything you put in it creamy and it's a really great um, mix in for sauces and um, I really like it in uh, a bunch of different sauces and um, I use it for my own home with hummus. I got a bag of dried shiitake mushrooms. Um, these my local um, uh, international market just packs themselves which is kind of nice. Um, I got two packages of these vegetable dumplings. Um, these are my husband's favorite and they make a pretty good snack. Um, they're not the healthiest and they're not the least packaged thing in the world, but they're easy when you don't have uh, time or energy to cook. Same thing for this um, ramen. I never end up buying the same type of ramen um, anytime, but uh, I carefully read the ingredients to make sure that there are no animal or uh, animal products in them. I got a, a small thing of Szechuan peppercorn powder. Um, I love spicy food. I like Szechuan food a lot too. Um, my husband and I like to eat that. And so I'm trying to make my own Szechuan food. So hopefully we'll have a few experiments on that. And then I got a small packet of MSG. Um, MSG gets a really bad rep, but it makes everything taste great. And it's in a lot of foods that um, you know, we eat all the time, like Doritos have a ton of MSG and, and a ton of different chips. And so I wanted to get some. Uh, to try it out in my own recipes and see uh, how that would change the taste. So that's it for the Asian grocery store or the international store. And then I'll zoom you guys over here. So I'll zoom you guys over here to see the rest of my haul. Um, I bought all of this just at my local Kroger. Um, nothing really special. We only have, um, in my town, we have a interna small international grocery store. We have um, a Kroger and we have a like health natural food store. Um, the natural food store is actually where I buy most of my things in bulk, um, but I don't need to go there all the time because I buy large quantities when I go. So um, I didn't need to go there today. So um, for the rest of my groceries, I got two packages of tofu. Um, as I said, my husband and I have a plant-based diet and so we eat a lot of tofu. I got uh, some Pasta, I got penne, dolini, shells, and orzo. Um, normally we would buy um, like rotini or something like that, but um, my grocery store seems to be having some um, supply chain issues. So this is what we could get and we were completely out of pasta. Um, my store was also running a sale on uh, a bunch of meat substitutes. So I got one package of vegan chicken nuggets two of these beefless tips. I make a um, Japanese style beef curry with these and they're really good. I got three packages of these chicken strips. These go into my um, green chicken chili recipe. I got two packages of ground beef. I'm going to be using this in the shepherd's pie. And then um, I found a package of vegetable dumplings at the regular grocery store and I was excited to see these because normally there are no um, vegan dumplings at our normal grocery store but I found these and they don't have any animal ingredients so I was excited to see that. Um, I got two <coughs> packages of chocolate chips. These are going to be in my husband's cake this week as well. Um, I got some buns. These are bolillos. Um, these are going to be for my banh mi. I got two cauliflowers, a package of basil. I am loath to purchase this um, expensive kind of basil package, but it is winter here and there's no way to get basil um, unpackaged right now for me. And um, this goes into the lettuce wraps. I would have liked to find Thai basil at my international grocery store and normally they have it, but they didn't have it today. So I had to go with the regular kind. Um, I got a couple pounds of um, Brussels sprouts and these will go with my um, 
my shepherd's pie later in the week. I got a head of bib lettuce or Boston lettuce. This will be for the lettuce wraps. Two heads of cilantro. This will be for lettuce wraps and a few other applications. I bought a thing of lime juice. I like purchasing um, juice. It's just really convenient and it never seems to go bad. I got a bunch of um, onions, a single regular lime um, for our to top our um, tortilla soup. I got some potatoes to do baked mashed potatoes for the shepherd's pie. I bought um, a package of peanuts. Normally I would buy these um, on no package at my local um, health food store, but this is the only thing I needed and they're all the way across town and they close early. So this is what we're going to do for now. I got some cream of tartar. I need this for a recipe um, later in the week, just some canola oil. And um, I got a few household items, some chapstick, some rechargeable batteries. These are for a headlamp that I use when I walk the dog in the evenings. It gets dark at 4.30 here. Um, and so I wanted to have a rechargeable, the rechargeable ones because we have a recharger and um, that uh, headlamp seems to drain batteries really fast. I got some um, just disposable gloves for when I'm chopping spicy peppers. Um, some shallots, these are for the lettuce wraps. And then um, I think the last thing here is a bag of peanut m ms These are my husband's favorite. They're not vegan, um, but those are his favorite um, candy. And so we, we make an exception for that. So thank you so much for uh, joining me. And um, I will see you later this week for another video. Thanks, everyone.